Look what we read here. The question is asked in verse 1, why do the heathen rage? And the people imagine a vain thing. You see, here, as they went and grabbed Ishbosheth, Abner, and appointed him king in opposition to David, they were doing a vain thing. But for them, it sounded reasonable. Let's continue Saul's legacy. Let's continue Saul's legacy, even though it was a legacy of condemnation. That's to imagine a vain thing. And the kings of the earth, verse 2, there it is, set themselves and the rulers take counsel together. And who is it against? The Lord and against his anointed. So the Lord there would be God the Father and his anointed. Who's his anointed? That's Christ. Saying, let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us. In other words, the Pharisees said of Christ, we will not have this man to rule over us. That's that spirit of Antichrist. But it says, he that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh, and the Lord shall have them in derision. See, God's not wringing his hands and from heaven hoping that things work out. No, he's directing all things to the glory and honor of his son, regardless of how the heathen rage. 